Today, we'll talk about one of the biggest things on everyone's minds right now that will make you want to cancel your Airbnb booking and switch to a hotel instead. Yes, you heard me right, Airbnb is in trouble and its fall is coming. Don't believe me? Stick around and let me fill you in on all the details. First things first, let's start with the basics. In case you've been living under a rock, what is Airbnb, you ask? It's a home sharing platform that has revolutionized the way we travel. Instead of booking a dull hotel room, you can now stay in a cozy apartment, a trendy loft, or even a freaking treehouse. And the best part? You get to live like a local and soak up the culture of your destination. But wait, there's more! Airbnb has become a global hotel competitor, taking on the big guns in the hospitality industry. From humble beginnings in San Francisco, the company has spread its wings to over 220 countries and regions, offering over 7 million listings worldwide. That's like having a different place to stay every day of the year. Let's dive into the brief history of Airbnb. The company was founded in 2008 by three friends who couldn't afford to pay rent on their San Francisco apartments. So they decided to rent air mattresses in the living room and offer breakfast in the morning. And voila, Airbnb was born. From there, the company expanded and raised millions of dollars in funding, becoming a unicorn in the tech world. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Recently, Airbnb has failed to meet its expectations, leaving some guests and hosts with a bad taste in their mouths. There have been reports of scams, hidden fees, and even discrimination. Yikes, that's not the drama we signed up for when booking our dream vacation. So what's causing this downfall? Some say Airbnb's rapid growth has caused a lack of quality control leading to unscrupulous hosts and guests taking advantage of the platform. Others believe the company's focus on profits has overshadowed its commitment to its community. Whatever the reason, it's clear that Airbnb needs to step up its game if they want to stay in the game. But fear not, my travel-loving friends! There are still some gems on Airbnb that are worth checking out. There's something for everyone, from stunning villas in Bali to cozy mountain cabins. And hey, who doesn't love a good adventure? Let's talk about the factors that are leading to the downfall of Airbnb. It's no secret that Airbnb was hit hard by the pandemic. With travel restrictions and lockdowns, people simply couldn't travel, which meant no one was booking Airbnb stays. But that's not the only thing that is bringing Airbnb down. The company's over-reliance on venture capital and constant expansion without regard for regulations were also significant contributors to their downfall. Remember how Airbnb used to be more efficient? Well, those days are long gone. The platform has become increasingly cluttered with unnecessary features, making it slower and cumbersome. Even more, the platform's dwindling state is causing more harm than good to hosts and guests alike. Let's discuss why Airbnb fees might not be a better hotel booking option. Airbnb's cleaning fees have skyrocketed to outrageous amounts recently, costing just as much as booking a hotel. These hidden fees have left a sour taste in customers' mouths, which does not favor Airbnb's image. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to spill some tea. Let me tell you, it's a doozy. We all know that Airbnb was the ultimate get-rich-quick scheme. People were opening their homes left and right, hoping to cash in on the tourism boom, and for a while it worked. But then the problems started piling up like dirty dishes. First, there were the cleaning fees. Oh, the horror! People were charging more for a cleaning fee than a night's stay. It was like they were trying to make up for their messy guests in advance. But you know what? As bad as those cleaning fees were, they weren't even the worst part. The single worst aspect plaguing Airbnb is the ridiculous house rules. Like no shoes allowed in the house, no food in the bedroom, no using the living room after 10pm. What is this, a prison or a vacation rental? It's like these hosts are trying to control every aspect of their guests' lives. They want to make sure you're following their rules to a T or they'll give you a bad review faster than you can say, I thought this was supposed to be a vacation. And let's not forget about the hosts who spy on their guests with hidden cameras. That's a whole other level of creepy. But how did we get here? Well, let's take a trip down memory lane. When Airbnb first started, it was a game changer. You could stay in someone's home for a fraction of the cost of a hotel and experience the city like a local. It was a win-win. But then people started getting greedy. They started opening multiple properties, hiring cleaning services to handle the mess and jacking up prices. Suddenly, it wasn't about sharing your home with travelers anymore. It was about making as much money as possible. And that's when things started to go south. Guests were no longer treated like guests. They were treated like a nuisance. 
a necessary evil to put up with to get those sweet, sweet Airbnb dollars. The more the experience became like staying at your grandma's house. Except for your grandma probably wouldn't charge you a cleaning fee or have a hidden camera in the bathroom. So what's next for Airbnb? It's hard to say. But one thing's certain, if they don't start putting the guest experience first, they will continue to fall. And who knows, maybe one day we'll all be staying in hotels again. But until then, we'll just have to deal with the crazy rules and hope our hosts aren't secretly watching us through a camera lens. Oh, let's not forget to talk about the elephant in the room, Airbnb's monopoly. Airbnb is the top dog in the short-term rental industry. They've dominated the market for years, and while it might seem like a good thing for them, it's their downfall. Why, you ask? Well, let me tell you. The thing about monopolies is that they tend to get too comfortable at the top. They start to get lazy and complacent, and they stop innovating. And that's exactly what's happening with Airbnb. While other players in the industry are coming up with new and innovative ways to improve the short-term rental experience, Airbnb is sitting on its laurels, counting its cash and not doing much else. They're not investing in new technologies, they're not improving their customer service, and they're not even bothering to fix the problems that have been plaguing their platform for years. But that's not even the worst of it. Airbnb's monopoly is also causing them to lose the trust of its users. When a company has a monopoly, they have all the power. They get to make the rules, and they get to decide what's best for their users. And that's precisely what Airbnb has been doing. They've been making decisions that benefit themselves rather than their users. They've ignored complaints from hosts and guests and treated their customers like they're disposable. And guess what? People are starting to notice. Ultimately, the downfall of Airbnb is not caused by any external factor, but by the greed of its hosts. Yes, you heard that right, the very people who made Airbnb a success are now bringing it down. Let's take a moment to appreciate the irony here. Airbnb was built on the idea of sharing your space with strangers and making some extra cash on the side. But over the years, some hosts have become downright greedy. They're no longer content with just a side hustle, they want to make a fortune off Airbnb. These hosts have turned their homes into full-time Airbnb rentals, kicking out long-term tenants and causing a housing crisis in some cities. They also charge outrageous prices, with some listings costing more than a luxury hotel room. Let us pretend to ignore the hidden cleaning and service fees that are tacked onto every booking. But here's the kicker. Airbnb is not just losing its charm, it's losing its loyal customers. People are tired of being ripped off and ruining their vacations by greedy hosts. They're also concerned about the impact of Airbnb on local communities. The rise of alternative home-sharing platforms like Verbo, Booking.com, and Homestay is not helping Airbnb's case either. These platforms offer more affordable options and are more transparent about their fees. Plus, they don't have the negative reputation that Airbnb now has. So what's the future of Airbnb? Unless they can rein in their greedy hosts and restore trust with their customers, it's not looking good. As they say, what goes up must come down. And for Airbnb, that fall might just be a little too steep. In essence, Airbnb's downfall is not caused by external factors like the pandemic or economic downturns. It's caused by the greed of its hosts, who are charging outrageous prices, evicting long-term tenants, and ruining people's vacations. And unless Airbnb can address these issues, its future is uncertain. So if you're planning a trip soon, maybe consider one of the alternative home-sharing platforms instead. Trust me, your wallet will thank you. Alright guys, the verdict is in. Is Airbnb going to fail? The answer is a resounding no. Before you start packing your bags and booking your next vacation rental, let me explain why. Firstly, let's talk about numbers. Airbnb has been growing steadily year over year, and its IPO in 2020 was hugely successful. Despite the pandemic, they've adapted and even thrived in the current climate. In fact, according to recent reports, Airbnb's revenue has increased by over 30% in the last quarter alone. That's some serious growth. Secondly, Airbnb's business model is unique and innovative. Unlike traditional hotel chains, they don't own any properties themselves. Instead, they rely on their hosts to provide the accommodations. This means that they have low overhead costs and can offer competitive prices to their customers. Plus, the personal touch of staying in someone's home is a huge draw for many travelers. Now onto the bad news. While Airbnb may not be in danger of failing, there is a real risk that some of its hosts could be in trouble. With increased competition in the vacation rental space, hosts may find it harder to stand out from the crowd. There are now many options for travelers. 
from traditional hotels to other rental platforms like Verbo and Booking.com. This means that hosts will need to work harder than ever to make their listings appealing and competitive. So, while Airbnb is unlikely to fail anytime soon, it's important to remember that its success relies heavily on its hosts. If they don't adapt and innovate alongside the company, they may struggle to keep up. But for now, let's keep enjoying those quirky, unique Airbnb stays and hope the hosts can weather the storm. So, what's your thoughts on Airbnb's downfall? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for our latest updates and news.